Hi, this is Sofer Dolls, and I'm doing a video response to Kay Collect. I really liked her video on her heirloom dolls, and I'm going to do mine. Um, I'm starting with what I would think of for my children as their most special, and then going backwards to the older dolls, and I'll show you what started my doll collection. Right now, in the front in pink, is Jean, my daughter's Cabbage Patch Kid, and on the right is Aldrin, my son's. And they both adopted these kids when we went, made a family trip to Babyland General Hospital in Georgia in the year 2000. Uh, Aldrin's wearing a little outfit that I made him for when he went back one year. And Jean is wearing a blanket that my daughter used to wrap around her body so she could carry Jean with her like a sling. So these are two special kids. And over there is my special kid. Evie Julian that I adopted on Christmas of 1983. I didn't think I'd be getting a Cabbage Patch Kid and that was the thing that I wanted the most. And I was so upset and my mom had to hear about it every single day. And then when she found her, you know, of course she wrapped her up for Christmas. And that was the happiest day I ever had receiving anything. I was so excited. So there is my special Cabbage Patch Kid. And then I'm going to show you the dolls that got me started in collecting dolls. And that will be right up next. And going a little bit further back, these dolls are from the 60s. It's Krissa and Velvet. And these dolls are from my cousins that are older. I also have another Krissa that I can't find and my cinnamon doll that is part of this family that I can't find, I'm embarrassed to say. But I don't want to go looking all over the house to find them there in one of the doll rooms. But these two, my cousins, everything, they always gave me tons of stuff because I was the youngest of the cousins, of the, the girl cousins. And then one time they gave me this old um, suitcase and I had it in my house, put it in a closet, and then I went through the suitcase about five years ago and found they were in the suitcase. So it was a very exciting day for me. And first I had found the two Chrissas, and then I thought, man, I really wish I had, because I went online to find out information, the blonde one, Velvet. And then I looked at another pocket in the suitcase, and there was Velvet. So I've had to redo their hair a little bit, and Chrissa's hair did get a little messy from where I found her. But that was exciting to find both of them, and they had been in my house a couple of years waiting for me to discover them. I made both of their outfits. So that's from the 60s, and then I'll go a little bit further back and show you some of the other dolls. And I'm right now, if anybody gets tired of a doll, neighbors, family, they always send their dolls to me. And right now my own daughter, I used to just find her American girls, they'd show up in my doll room because she was too sad to tell me she didn't, you know, she'd felt bad she didn't want them anymore and she knew that they'd have a good home with me. And instead of telling me and making me sad, she just put them in my room. So that's how I've acquired all of her dolls, which I've always told her whenever you want them back, you can have them. So these are Krissa and Velvet, and I will show you some older dolls from family members next. Continuing on with the dolls that are in my family's you know, collection that were passed on, you can see my mother's Terry Lee doll. She's behind this case my husband made for me of dolls. And unfortunately, you can see part of me. <laughs> so the, her, her doll is the one on the left, and I think she was from probably the late 1940s or early 1950s. And she's a Terry Lee doll. She um, has like a hairnet my mom, my grandma and I put on her. I think it came with her. And then she has a real fur coat that's rabbit. And her dress is crocheted by my mother's aunt, which would be my great aunt. I think it was her godmother. So a very nice doll that was I played with when I was a little girl it was my mother's doll. She has a little muff on her hand. And another thing is my aunt had one also but she let her uh, neighbor kids when they were younger come play with it and kind of ruin that doll. But I did find in that collection in Chris's suitcase that there's some Terry Lee doll outfits, so I did find some of those. So that was nice. My doll collection started with this collection. It's my aunt's um, Nancy Ann collection, and my aunt used to get these dolls. I'm not sure why my mother wasn't given these dolls, but my mom was the younger child, and my grandparents had a special case built for these dolls. So she'd get these dolls, and then she'd get other dolls. 
And um, since I got this collection, I think I got it when I was about between seven and nine, they moved it into my bedroom. And the dolls, I squeeze them in more because there's five shelves so that I could fit my Madame Alexander dolls in. And there's some more. And I actually just found one more box of dolls and I opened up the case so you could see them because behind the case I was getting too much glare. Because on the right side is more like she had aunts and uncles that would travel to different countries and bring her back different dolls from different countries. And that's those are the ones that I just found another box full. I thought I had them all out. I'm just showing you some of the dolls. I think I inherited about, and, and I say inherit, my aunt's still alive, but she didn't want these in her house, and I did. So I think that started off my collection with about 50 dolls. And some of the Nancy Ann dolls are really cool because they have these eyes, like this one. And if I walk around the room, the eyes continue to follow me. I'm trying to see if it'll do it on the camera. Whereas the one on the right in the gold, her eyes are painted on, so it, they don't do that. But I used to like to scare my friends by saying, look into that doll's eyes and walk by, and the doll, the eyes would continue following. It was kind of like the haunted mansion at, the, at Disneyland. So these are some of my heirloom dolls. And thank you for the great idea for a video, okay, collect. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.